Hello guys, welcome back to yet another interesting video. So few days back, nothing rolled out Android 15 developer preview for nothing phone 2A. And today we have the similar build for nothing phone 2. In this video, let's talk about all the changes and what all things you get to see with developer preview of Android 15 for nothing phone 2. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Here I have my nothing phone 2 on which I've already installed this latest build of Android 15 developer preview. Talking about the software information here, you can see Android version is Android 15. But on this build, we still get to see Android 14 Easter egg. This build comes with 5th April 2024 security patch and the build number is .016. It's a developer preview so you won't get it via OTA, you have to manually install it if you wish to install and over nothing OS 2.5.5 the update size or you can say the file size would be somewhere around 800 MB. As said, if you wish to install, I'll provide the download links in the description below. According to the software version of your phone too, you can download the file. Mine was this 1248, so I downloaded this file. Let me show you the file size. So the Android 15 developer preview file size is 189 MB. If you're installing, make sure to take a backup of your entire device because this also wipes the internal storage. And beforehand itself, I would say it's not worth installing on your nothing phone too until unless it's not your primary phone and guys now before moving ahead if you guys like a content and if you think it's useful for you guys then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel first of all let me clear one thing you won't see anything from nothing os like nothing recorder widgets and more it only has nothing os boot animation and it's a pure aosp build that to an older one with april security patch you won't see anything new of google android 15 from beta 1 or beta 2 which we have seen on Pixel smartphones. By the way, we have checked the basic functionalities like you can make calls, Wi-Fi is working fine, Bluetooth is also working fine, and I did use my Geo SIM card that also works fine on this current build. So basically, you can use these basic functionalities on this developer preview. On nothing phone 2A, the AOD was also broken, but on this build, AOD seems to be working fine. So here you can see I've enabled always on display and if I turn off the screen, you'll see AOD in action, but this is in basic always on display and doesn't have any kind of customizations. Before talking about the features, let's talk about the known bugs and the missing features. And I know guys, it's a developer preview, but it's my job to tell you guys what's new and what's broken. So the first thing which you'll find completely broken and that's the ability to add your fingerprint or face unlock. So let me show you that if I try to add the fingerprint, see we don't have any option to register the fingerprint. Also, the icon of fingerprint shows on the top side of the preview which is shown on this screen. Along with that, the face unlock feature is also completely broken. As said before, you won't see any kind of nothing stock applications pre-installed like nothing weather, nothing launcher, nothing recorder or nothing widgets. Also, if you see the UI padding in the status bar, if you are on the main home screen or the app drawer, initial two numbers are almost out of the padding. Wallpaper and style section is also an outdated one. Here I have Pixel 7a, if I long press and go to wallpapers and style section, you can see the Android 15 wallpaper and style section, but here we have the older one. Under home settings, you have some basic settings, nothing else. There's also no support of Glyph Lite on Nothing Phone 2 with the Android 15 developer preview. On Nothing Phone 2a, we had some camera application, which was named as MediaTek, but here on Nothing Phone 2, we have the AOSP camera application. You can take photos using this application. I also noticed auto brightness kind of broken, which doesn't work how we expect it to work. And after that, if you go to settings, here you won't see an icon on digital well-being and parental control because this setting is also broken. You can see the screenshot now and then the digital well-being application will crash. On Nothing Phone 2 a running Android 15 developer preview, we had the feature of app archive, but that's not available on Nothing Phone 2 running Android 15 developer preview. Basically, that feature lets you save some space on your device without deleting the application. You can also see that feature in action on Pixel smartphones running Android 15 beta 2. And now let's talk about some of the changes and the features what you guys will see on this developer preview, which is running on Nothing Phone 2. And the first change is layer to lock screen. So there's nothing much, but whenever you type the pin, you'll see different icons in action above the number pad. And that's the only change in the lock screen, nothing else. The second change, what you'll see, and that's in the quick setting tiles of Bluetooth. So here you can see we do have an option to switch between different Bluetooth devices with just single tap by opening the quick setting tiles. I'll also show you an example. So I have these two buds connected. So with a single tap, I can connect the Bluetooth devices which are saved on my phone. So this was one thing. And the second new feature, what you'll see, that's layer to screen recording. Android 15 now lets you record the screen of single application. So for example, I'll select this option and tap on start recording, I'll see a new pop-up where it'll give me options to select the applications which are installed. So for example, let's select calculator. Soon I tap on the calculator application, the recording starts and if I exit the calculator application, the recording will automatically stop, which later gets saved on your internal storage. Another new add-on, what you'll find and that's in the 
Wi-Fi setting. So if you go to Wi-Fi setting under network preferences, now we have an option called allow WAP network, which is an older security protocol, which is also less secure. By default, it's enabled. So you can disable it if you want. And the next new add-on is memory usage profiling. So here you can see all the details related to the memory use, and you can also see the memory usage based on hours or day. And the last change under developer settings is layered to predictive gestures. So by default, predictive gestures are turned off on these builds. But if you have any Pixel smartphone on the latest builds of Android 15, which is currently beta 2.1, predictive back animation is enabled by default. So guys, this build even lacks few things which we saw on Nothing Phone 2A developer preview. So it's not at all worth installing on your device. Still, if you guys have any kind of questions, you can let me know in the comment section below. This was a quick look on Android 15 developer preview 1 for Nothing Phone 2. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.